Hi, this is a quick video on how to use the Stillwater Game of Life app. This is my home screen on my phone. And to install the app, first thing you need to do is you'll need to open a browser. I'm going to use Chrome over here. And you'll need to enter the web ID tinyurl.com forward slash Stillwater app. If you click on that, it should take you to this page, right? At the bottom of this page, you'll see add game of life to home screen. But even if you don't see that, if you go to settings, um, you can see this install app. And again, it'll say, would you like to install the app? So if you install that, right, it's adding game of life. Then when you go to your uh, list of apps over here, you'll see game of life over here. Right, there we go, game of life. Um, and of course you can install that onto your home screen as well. So if I just go over here and add an application, it'll act exactly like a normal application, right? And here we go, where's Game of Life? Here we go, I'm gonna apply Game of Life here and then it becomes easy for me to access, right? Now I'll need to log in using my phone number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter my phone number, I'm going to get a, a, an OTP and then I'm gonna log in. Okay, I'm getting an OTP now. It should come fairly quickly. I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna verify. That will bring you to the life area tab. And you can see we've got four default life areas, finances, career, health, relationships. What I can do over here is I can change the slider. So for example, finances, let me say 50% since uh, COVID time, we don't have that much training going on. Career is doing not so bad. Okay, so let me take that to 75%. Uh, how happy am I with my health? Not so great just now. I just recently had a fracture, which I'm recovering from in my leg. And relationships, I would say that's a pretty good, you know, 90%. Um, and I could be spending a little bit more time with the kid. Now, what you can see is the app has ordered this in descending order. So relationships at the top with 90%. And finances at the bottom of 50%. And the reason for this is so that I can look at the things that I'm doing well at, get some confidence, get some uh, motivation from that, and then look at the areas further down below where I want to work on, right? If it was the other way around, it might be that I look at the things that I'm not doing so well, I'd get demoralized and not even scroll down to see the areas in my life that are doing really good that I should be grateful for, right? Now, you can of course change the life areas. You can put it the way that you want. So if I add a new life area, top right hand corner, you can see this add button. I put add, I can put in a new area, hobbies and put a description and how satisfied I am and save that. And again, it'll fall in this. So let me pause the video for a second and let me fill this out the way I normally would. So here we are back in the life area page and this time I've populated it. Uh, one of the first things I've done is I've changed the name of the title. So instead of say relationships, I put spending time with family. Instead of work, I have put learning and passing on wisdom and knowledge. It's just how I see my life, uh, the different divisions. Um, I've also put in a detailed description in each one of these boxes because the hardest part of creating a great life is first of all visualizing it. If you can really see it high, high definition, uh, crystal clear, granular detail, then actually it becomes easier to make it happen. So for example, under spending time with family, I put I wanna spend an hour a day um, with my kids um, so that they're happy and capable individuals. I wanna uh, let my wife know that she has my unconditional love and support. Um, if I go down, I want uh, to have a million people attend our Stillwater programs and learning and passing on wisdom and knowledge. Um, under laughing and having friends, one international holiday a year is something that I'd really like. Uh, fit and free, five kilometers in 30 minutes, I wanna be able to jog. I've put down how much I wanna earn, how much I wanna save by when, etc. So I've put in a real picture of how I want my life to look like, right? But then I wanna get into more granular detail and say, okay, in order to create this life, what are the goals I would need to achieve? So then I go to the goals tab. Right? And you can see there's a tab where I can add in goals. Let me say I want to be able to run five kilometers in 30 minutes, right? 30 minutes, uh, right? And I'll just um, put that in fit and free. Let me assign that. And where I'm, I'm roughly about, let's say 67% on that, let me save that goal, okay? So now that's the goal and it's been assigned to that life area of fit and free. Let me fill the rest of my goals and I'll come back in a few seconds. Okay, so I've got my goals set up now. And as you can see, there are quite a few goals. I've got about uh, 10, 15 of them over here. But after I've set them up, I don't usually check them on the goals page. 
I actually monitor them on the life area page. So on the left hand side of the box, you can see a downward pointing arrow. And if I click on that, I can see all the goals that have been assigned to that life area. So, you know, relationships is this life area, but I've got a, quite a few different relationships that I want to spend time with. Um, and you can see most of them doing okay, except kiddies who are down at 71% because this is their school summer holidays. Um, and, you know, I'm they have a lot of free time and I want to spend more time. So if I have a good day with them, I could take it up. If I'm not spending time with them, I could take it down. Uh, just now, let me say I'm around 73%, let's say. This is a life satisfaction. Uh, these scores are satisfaction scores, not completion scores. So if I've done maybe you know three chapters out of 100, I wouldn't put 3% on that. I would say, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the progress. If things are moving along. I might even be a 75% achievement. So these are satisfaction scores. Um, and on the right hand side of this bar, you can see underneath the edit pencil sign, there's a sync sign, right? So what does that do? Well, just now I can change the life satisfaction scores directly. I can just move it up and down. But if I want it to be an average of the underlying goals, I'll click on the sync button. And in which case it becomes light blue and uh, that line also becomes light blue. And this score 95% is basically an average of these, right? So if I want my life area score to be an average of the underlying uh, goals, I click on this light blue uh, sync button and turn it sync. And uh, I'm just gonna do that for all the others underneath. I like to have it as uh, each life area score is an average of the underlying goals. And then all the averages of life area score, you can see go into the game of life score, which is something I look at to get a sense of, you know, how am I doing just now, right? What, what do I need to work on? Now, once I've the, got the goals, um, what do I need to do to make the goals happen? Well, there are two things. One is one-time actions, which I can put in a to-do. So a one-time action could be something like join gym, right? And I put in the description, let me say, that when do I want to do it? In one week's time, that's the deadline. And how important is it? I can change the importance level over here and save that, right? So now that's a one-time action, but there's some things I need to do on a repetitive basis. So that's where I go into habits. If I want to create a habit tracker, I'll press the add over here, right? And let me say exercise one hour every day, okay? That's my habit. Again, I might put some habit description over there. Um, and now if I click on the edit sign over here, you'll see I've got this um, calendar. And if I click on a, on, on a date, it becomes blue. And that means that I've done it, a single tap. If I click twice on a date, it becomes red, which means I haven't done it, right? And over here, you can say one day I've done it, one day I haven't done it. So um, what is my average percentage? 50%, okay, it took a little time to refresh, but there you go. And so um, this will only calculate it based on the ones that you've actually put in. So it won't calculate the days where you've not put in any data. And you can put in as many habits and track them as you want, right? One of the things to keep in mind is that this habit tracker resets on the first of every month. So say you were keeping the tracking for May, on 1st June, everything goes back to zero. And the reason for that is, suppose you had 100% achievement in the previous month, Forget about it, don't get complacent, start again from 0%, right? Also, if last month, you know, you were at 0% achievement, instead of getting bogged down saying, oh my God, I've got such a low percentage, you know, it's a, it's a blank slate, a fresh start, start from 0%, so you don't have to worry about that. If I keep my um, achievement up this month, I'll get 100%. I don't need to worry what happened the previous month. The final part of this is the notes. So what can you do in notes? Well, you can use it any way you want. So one way you could use it is to capture your learning. So you might put say, you know, May uh, 2021 and put in what was your biggest learning from the month or your biggest achievement for the month or your biggest memory, right? Or even one idea that you want to put. And you could do that for every single month, choose the color, put it over there, and uh, what you can also do is if you've got a number of them, you can click on the reorder button at the top and reorder them. One final thing I'd like to cover before I wrap this up is to talk about the hamburger menu on the top left of this screen. Uh, if I click on that, you can see there are a few options over here, dark mode, 
allows me to change it to dark modes for, for those of you either prefer the aesthetic or who use it at the nighttime when it's easier to see. Reset will reset the app. Uh, it'll delete all the data. The app guide, if you click on that, it will take you to this YouTube video that you're watching right now about still what it takes us um, to our website. Um, and, you know, please feel free to get in touch with us for any questions uh, about how to use the app. We'd love to hear how you're using the app. Um, and finally, you know, there's, there's a link to um, the LinkedIn page of Vishal Lavanya, who used to work for Stillwater and who created this app. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, we'd love to hear from you how you're using it. We'd love to chat to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please do call us. Um, and best of luck with this. Take care. Bye.